This is part three of my look at the Ultimark Arcade VGA 2 graphic card. In part two, we looked at the Arcade VGA Res tool and uh, pushing the button in the bottom right. The results of doing that are if you go to your MAME installation folder and you look at the INI folder underneath that, you're going to see a whole slew of INI files uh, that were created by that utility. And if you open a given game, for example, Black Tiger, uh, you're going to see the resolution that it's going to be running at. And it's done that for every game uh, for that MAME ROM set. Without me having to go through and tediously tweak each individual game and its settings. Now there are other utilities out there that will accomplish the same thing. This is the one that I'm familiar with, so it's the one that um, I'm showing you how to kind of go through and configure and use. Now, in part one, I talked about one of the shortcomings of the Arcade VGA 2 graphic card. And for me, probably the biggest shortcoming is the fact that it isn't a very powerful 3D card. Now, one of the things I'd hoped to have running inside this cab was Street Fighter 4. Now, fortunately, I do have that for the PS3, and I've got some adapters, so I'll still be able to run that, but I'd hope to be running the PC version within this cab. And, you know, some of the Capcom deficiencies aside, like the uh, short-sightedness with um, keys strokes being assigned to Player 1 and Player 2, uh, it's still a game that I hope to have on this cab. And the Arcade VGA 2 card just isn't capable of running it. I mentioned that even with the graphic options toned down, I was getting about 15 to 20 frames per second. Now, yeah, that sucks, but it's not really a bad thing. And I don't really blame the video card. The video card is what it is, and it's an HD 2400 card. Uh, it's not a particularly powerful graphic card. What this card will do is play PC games up into, I would say, probably the mid-2000s very comfortably. So you're looking at games uh, easily up to 2005, 2006 that this card is not going to have any issues with. There is a competing, I won't say competing product because it's not really commercial, it's more of a fan creation and that Sailor Sats soft 15 kilohertz utility. Uh, what it's designed to do is run with a whole bunch of NVIDIA and ATI graphic cards and provide a software based solution. Whereas this is a BIOS flashed hardware solution, the Arcade VGA2, soft 15 kilohertz is more of a software based solution. And it's going to be hit or miss depending on the graphic card that you have. What's nice about the utility is that you might be able to find a relatively modern graphic card, i.e. very fast 3D, that still has a decent uh, number of lower resolutions that it's capable of running. So you could you know, spend some time and find just the right card. The problem is, is you're going to have to scour uh, you know, different sources online, you're going to have to research through postings to, to find what card is going to work best. And from my research, you know, there's always some sacrifices to be had with soft 15 kilohertz. Uh, that awesome 3D card might run some lower resolutions, but it might not run, you know, the majority of them. What you get with Arcade VGA2 is a full-on assortment of lower resolutions, you know, with what I call mediocre 3D graphics capabilities. So if you can handle the fact that it's not going to run the latest and greatest on a cab, which a lot of you aren't going to be running anyways because you're running classics on your cab and you know the odd PC game, uh, if you're fine with that, the Arcade VGA2 is your graphic card. And I got to be honest with you, I'm more than pleased with the card. I've accepted you know, the limitation that it's not going to play Street Fighter 4 and I've moved on. What it does do, it does do well. And for example, I'm going to launch Star Wars 2 here. And this is the uh, Lego Star Wars 2, I should say. Now this game came out a few years ago. But if we take a look at the graphical options, and we'll try that again. You can see 
I've got it set to 800 by 600, which is the maximum that my monitor will allow. I've got anti-aliasing set to four times. Bump mapping is on, bloom filtering is on, plastic reflections are on. Uh, it's maxed out as far as this game is concerned. Uh, on a conventional monitor, yeah, you could go higher on the resolution, but for my arcade cabinet, 800 by 600 is the max. And certainly I've got all the graphic options cranked. And I'll just show you here what kind of frame rate you can expect. So I've got a utility called Fraps and I'll run that. Now if you look at the top right you're gonna see the number in yellow. That's the maximum frame rate for this game and it's completely locked in at that frame rate. You can see no matter how much action is going on on screen, uh, you know I'm shooting guns, jumping, doing whatever, uh, it's locked in at 52 frames per second. So yeah, it's not going to run Street Fighter 4, but games just a few years ago, not a problem. Eat some for breakfast. And there are a lot of options out there. So, you know, this is, like I said, Star Wars 2, the original trilogy for LEGO Star Wars. Some of the other games that are a lot of fun to play, uh, Raiden 3, for example. Uh, it's a 2D game, but it uses a lot of graphic uh, filtering and uh, looks pretty darn awesome. And, uh, you know, Typhoon 2001, which was a game that I uh, looked at in another review. So again, games that are a couple of years old, Arcade VGA, no problem. Uh, all in all, I'm very happy with the card. I think you'll be very happy with it. Uh, again, what this card allows you uh, is ease of use. So it's a card... You buy it, it arrives, it's got clear instructions on the website on what to do. Uh, you load the utilities, you load the drivers, you're good to go. You don't have to do any tweaking, um, you're pretty much set. Whereas with uh, you know, a utility like Soft 15 kilohertz, uh, it's going to do what you need in the end, but it might not be as user friendly and the path to get there isn't probably going to be as friendly and it's going to be fraught with a, a bit more tweaking on your part. Uh, not to say that the end result won't be the same, but there's a little bit more involved and this is certainly the more friendly plug-and-play solution and uh, again I can't recommend this card uh, more highly than that thanks very much for watching